and another important point to this it constitutes 26 pi electrons 18 pi electrons form planar planar molecule then it is called aromatic and it can act as acidic and basic so it can give lone pairs and it can uh, donate H plus also. So it can as, act as acidic and basic also. And it absorbs UV light and give purple color. Purple color is given by porphyrin molecule. It is a macrocycle, hetero macrocycle compound and the hetero atom is nitrogen. So this is the structure of porphyrin. Now we can see the structures of hemoglobin and myoglobin. And first, uh, for whatever bioinorganic compounds, we have to first understand the structure of porphyrin and porphyrin ring. So you should study to draw this porphyrin ring. So I hope you understood the structure of porphyrin ring. Now we can move on to the hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is the red pigment which gives blood red color. So we can see the functions of hemoglobin and the structure of hemoglobin. So in structure of hemoglobin, the central metal atom is iron. Fe in plus 2 oxidation state is the central metal atom in hemoglobin. And this is the porphyrin ring. So in porphyrin ring, iron is the central metal atom. And these four nitrogens are the nitrogens of pyron rings. For simplicity, I am showing like this. This is enough for our uh, topic. So, this is the iron in plus 2 oxidation state. And the fifth position is connected to nitrogen of histidine. Histidine is an amino acid. So, the fifth position is connected to nitrogen of histidine. And the sixth position is vacant. This is deoxy form of hemoglobin. And in oxy form, the sixth position is connected to O2, dioxygen. So this is oxy form, oxy. And this is deoxy. So this is the structure of hemoglobin. And now we can see the function of hemoglobin that is oxygen transportation. The function of hemoglobin is oxygen transportation. And the molecular weight is 64,500 atomic units. 64,500. And four heme groups are bound to four protein chain. So in hemoglobin, four heme groups are present. Four heme groups. And in myoglobin, only one heme group is present. And that, that we can see in myoglobin section. So four heme groups are present in hemoglobin and the central metal atom is iron in plus two oxidation state and four pyro rings are present and sixth position is connected to N history. So that's about hemoglobin. And while coming to deoxy and oxy form, these are the differences between deoxy and oxy form. So first Fe2 in high spin state. So high spin state and this oxy form is in low spin state. So oxy form is in low spin and deoxy is in high spin. And the deoxy is square pyramidal and oxy is octahedral. This is square pyramidal and this one is octahedral geometry. And this is important. Deoxy form is called T state. T state. T means tensed. Tensed. So deoxy form is called a T state or tensed state and oxy form is called a R state or relaxed state. Relaxed. So this is very important. Deoxy form is called a T state or tensed state and oxy form is called a relaxed state. And this is another point. In deoxy form, the pH is low. PH is low in deoxy form while in oxy form PH is high. So when PH is low, uh, the lactic acid, when lactic acid is produced, the pH will be low. So that's the function of hemoglobin. So in deoxy form, the pH is low. It is called a T state. Its shape is geometry is square pyramidal and the high spin state. While in oxy form, pH is high and it is called a R state. Geometry is octahedral and it is low spin compound and iron is in plus 2 oxidation state. And in sixth position, uh, 
this is vacant for deoxy 4 and anoxy 4 it is converted to dioxygen and the converting of dioxygen with hemoglobin is called a cooperativism or cooperating continuity so uh, the, the O2 O2 is dioxygen O2 can bind to HB HB is hemoglobin so each hemoglobin each hemoglobin can bind to 4 O2 so each HB can bind to 4 O2 so uh, the binding order is 1 less than 2 which is less than 3 and which is less than 4 so this is cooperative effect fourth binding will be faster than third than second and first so binding increases uh, I mean uh, binding is easier for fourth uh, binding than third so this is the cooperative effect of hemoglobin so these are the points regarding hemoglobin it is a function of hemoglobin's oxygen transportation 64500 amu the molecular weight and four heme groups are present so it can bind to four oxygen dioxygen that is called a cooperating effect cooperativity effect and deoxy form is high spin square pyramidal t state ph low and noxy form low spin octahedral r state and pH is high and I is in plus 2 oxidation state. So let's move on to myoglobin. Moving on to myoglobin. The structure of myoglobin is same as hemoglobin. Only one difference is there. In hemoglobin, four heme groups are present, but in myoglobin, only one heme group is present. So in myoglobin, one heme group is present. And the structure is same. The central metal atom is iron in porphyrin ring. And the function is different. In hemoglobin, the function was oxygen transportation. But in myoglobin, the function is oxygen storage. So, storage of oxygen is conducted by myoglobin while hemoglobin uh, transport oxygen. And another point is more strongly binds to O2 than hemoglobin. So, myoglobin can uh, bind to O2 more faster than hemoglobin so binding of dioxygen is more in myoglobin and affinity for O2 decreases for hemoglobin with decrease in pH so when pH is decreased affinity for O2 also decreases in hemoglobin that is called the Bohr effect B O H R Bohr effect when decrease in pH uh, affect Degrees of affinity for O2, it is called a Bohr effect. Oxygen affinity is decreased while decreasing pH in hemoglobin. But in myoglobin, the, it does not depend upon pH. Myoglobin does not depend on pH. And we have seen the pH uh, differences in uh, deoxy form and oxy form. In deoxy form, the pH is low. So the affinity for oxygen is also low. But in oxyphone, the pH is high, so affinity is also high. And another point is, at high partial pressure, Hb, hemoglobin binds strongly. So, at high partial pressure, hemoglobin can bind strongly. But in low partial pressure, Mb, that is myoglobin, can bind strongly. So, at a low partial pressure, myoglobin binds high partial pressure, hemoglobin bind strongly. So these are the points of myoglobin. It is very easy to study. Myoglobin function is oxygen storage. Hemoglobin function is oxygen transportation. That's the main difference. And another important point is hemoglobin contains four heme group, but in myoglobin only one heme group is present. And affinity is stronger for myoglobin. Affinity to oxygen is stronger for myoglobin than hemoglobin. And these are the another point, Bohr effect. That should be studied in hemoglobin section. I forgot. Affinity for O2 decreases for hemoglobin with decrease in pH. Affinity for O2 decreases with decrease in pH for hemoglobin. That is called Bohr effect. And at high partial pressure, Hb binds strongly and at low partial pressure, myoglobin binds strongly.
So these were the points regarding hemoglobin and myoglobin. First we have seen the difference between porphyrin and porphyrin. So a metal atom is connected to porphyrin, it is called a porphyrin. So porphyrin is the basic structure for hemoglobin and myoglobin and the central metal atom is iron in plus 2 oxidation state. So Fe is the central metal atom of porphyrin ring. And we have seen the differences between hemoglobin and myoglobin, the affinity towards oxygen and deoxyform and oxyform of hemoglobin also. So in next video we can see another bio inorganic compounds.